Hello everyone, welcome to this part number 19 related to the RQDA software. So this is related to a much more advanced function uh, called uh, how to use the command line for RQDA. So just as you know, we've downloaded the R Studio, and what happened is that basically what we've did is only to use it and then check RQDA and do everything on RQDA. But you have to know that some function can be done or can only be done on via the command line and not via the GUI application. So <clears throat> first, we already checked the RQDA, but actually another way to do it, just to show you, is to write library. So every time you don't need to write everything, you just write the first uh, two or three words uh, and then you do tabulation and then you have many choices. So let's choose this one, tabulation again, and then you write RQDA. And as you can see, it will make the same effect as checking the box because, just wait a couple of seconds, and here we are, the software just open and now I will just open a small project so let's open this one I guess it was uh, this one maybe no maybe this one no I'll just open the other one so open it okay so here we've got a small file with not a lot of codes and the fact is that we will in order to to use the console first we need to open a project so that's what I did but before let's start to see some basis of this console so first at all uh, to clean something you do control and L like this CTRL and then the letter L. So I will just try and this will clean the console. It's just a small trick about how to use the to clean the console. It's exactly like on a Linux uh, console. So whatever. Before to start, I just want to tell you that you've downloaded R and also R Studio and you can use RQDA for sure but you can use a lot and a lot and a lot of other features. For instance, R is very used in the by the people working with statistics and also the people working into math. So you can do a lot of stuff for sure. Uh, in this tutorial, I will not explain you all the function of R, but if you are curious, just go on YouTube or on Google and try to see uh, what you can do with uh, with that one. I will just tell you that you can do some basic stuff such as addition, uh, division, multiplication, and even that kind of stuff. I'm just writing some random numbers, you know, and Oops, yeah, I've done a mistake. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay, because I didn't write any numbers before between the last and the first uh, parentheses. But anyway, what I want to tell you is that you can do a kind of uh, math and like you can also um, use some basic function, such as, uh, let's take the mean function. So once again, if you do MI and then tabulation, then you have many different functions. And if you need some help, as it is telling you here, you can press F1. So we'll try to press F1. And here I've got a nice documentation. And this is very nice because on the basic R GUI, you don't have that kind of uh, of package, but if you are using R Studio, you have a very nice layout. It's very convenient. So basically, all the functions are into the documentation, and every time is the same stuff. 
is a description, then you have a usage, arguments, details. So this is very nice. Value, methods, and uh, and you, you have a kind of example at the end. So this is very nice. For instance, if we are trying that one, min 5.1pi, we'll just try. And then we've got some results. And for sure, if we write something like, uh, just write some random numbers, you already guess which one the, the answer will be. So let's push enter. And here you've got some answers. And for sure, what you can do is to give a value name to this one. So just to give a value name, uh, you will do like this, like this is li looking like an arrow, so just like this, and then you write, uh, just write A, and after, when you write A, it will already give you the number. And uh, just let's try something, A plus 2, and then you've got the results, because it takes the minimum function of this one, and then gives you the results. And I guess if we are going here, uh, how to make it smaller? Yeah, like this. You can see that uh, the value you've saved. So, for instance, let's say that I want to save A and 2 and saying that this is B. Then you see that I've saved something. So, basically, it's very nice to use it even for RQDA. Uh, after, if you need some help, uh, you can press like min and uh, F1. Or you can also write like this i think it will work yeah you just write question mark and mean and then you've got the documentation here so if i tried with sum it will work and if i try with max it will also work yeah it's giving you the same one and basically you have a documentation for everything and this is very very useful so do not hesitate to check the documentation but another way to use the help is just going here and write something such as sum or anything else when you need any help, just write the stuff you need and then you check on help. So this is quite nice and if, even if you go to package and you press on anyone, so if you don't know uh, what you can use the package, uh, let's take, I saw the lattice package i think i don't remember where ah yeah this one this is quite a famous package so just press on here and then you've got a nice introduction to this package so if you want to know how to use the lattice package so if you check the la if you if you if you check the lattice package then you can see the documentation to know all the functions you can use about the lattice package but now let's start to focus on rqda so just go on package and just go on RQDA, check here, and now you've got the full documentation. And this is very nice because you can know what you can use with the console to use RQDA. For sure, in this tutorial, I will not explain you everything. It will take too much time. So I invite you to be curious and to check by yourself. So for instance, if you want to know for what you can use this one, you just click here. And then you've got a description. Every time is the same. You've got a description, a usage, arguments, details, and sometimes value, sometimes not, author, and an example. The example is very, very, very useful. So do not hesitate to check the example as well. And to go back, you go just here. So now we'll just enter some information. Uh, we'll just uh, learn a couple of things, such as this one, summary codings. So I'm going here. And again, I see I have a description. This will gives you a summary of the current project. And this is how to use it. And after you've got some arguments. So arguments are usually uh, optional stuff that you can enter if you wish. So I just can enter summary recordings and nothing into the brackets. Or I can enter some stuff into the brackets to get some more precise um, results at the end. And here you've got some values. And uh, this is the author. So basically, uh, the author will be the same uh, on this package. This is uh, this is the author who created uh, the package. So I don't dare to, to, to pronounce his name because I don't know how to pronounce it. 
um, but whatever. And after you can see also uh, some similar uh, stuff. So this is very much similar to this uh, to this code. So sometimes you've got some suggestions and at the end an example. So let's write this example. So I just write summary co and dynamic tabulation. Oops, summary summary and then codings and tabulation again and tabulation again and then parentheses the brackets and then I will just go here like this make it small and check enter and here you see some nice information so you've got codings like uh, diverse uh, number of codings so diverse I've got three coding Facebook two coding and Twitter three codings. So just go back here and we'll see, just take Facebook for instance, and you see that you really have two codings. And uh, let's just, just to, to make you see that it's working, just going here, I'm making a new Facebook here. So just mark it as Facebook, okay. And now we'll just try again. So I will clean it, Control L and I will go with the up key of my of my keyboard and then it will write the last uh, uh, stuff th the thing that I write in the console so okay so now I just do okay and you see that the number on Facebook changed and after you've got average number uh, of words associated with each code so you have some information here and numbers of files associated with each code so I guess you understand what's the meaning for uh, for sure uh, I can show you the same with another folder later, but it will make uh, the same with another folder. So to perform any queries, I just remember you, you need to open RQDA for sure and need to open a folder. After, we'll just see another one. So I will just go back to the help here. Just go back and now I will just choose uh, just before. I told you that you can make some name, so I'm thinking about it, so we'll try to do it. So just say that this one, uh, if I'm using often and I'm too lazy to, to write uh, summary codings, I just write a resume, for instance, and here you can see that I've created something. You have even the structure, so this is not necessary. You don't need to press on that, just to show you that you've got this one. And so now, if I write resume we can see that even the resume entered uh, in the auto completion suggestion so this is very nice and then i've got again the same message instead to write this uh this one i just need to write resume and then it's working so it may be nice if you're lazy to 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 write summary codings anyway just let's go back here and now Let's say, uh, just go back again. Oh, anyway, just go to package and then go back to here, press here. And now we'll use something else called get coding table. So just go here. And by the way, this is quite very simple. It's quite shorter. So the suggestion is just this one. So we'll try this one. So I will get coding table here, okay. And then I will do like this and push enter. Maybe it was a little bit, my screen was too small, so I will just clean, doing again. And here you see some nice information about all the codes. So first you've got, um, here you've got the, the length. So let's just go by order. So this is just the number uh, from once to the last one. After you've got the ID of the row, so this is the, the row ID, and after you've got some other information, such as the code ID, so Twitter is every time number two, Facebook number five, diverse number six, and you see that diverse is number six. So each code has got an own number. This is like the ID of uh, each code. And same for the files, so the file ID here, number three, number two, etc. So this is the idea of the file in which the line code is related to. And then you've got the file name. So this is uh, 
very interesting. So if I check this one, uh, this is file name number three. So obviously this one and this one have exactly the same name. So this is obvious. And after you've got the index. So basically the code here started on character 48 and ended on character 349. And the length is 301. So this is very nice um, because you've got a lot of, of, of information. So this is very nice. And after you can also perform uh, other stuff. Um, but first at all, you may think, okay, but how may I do if I want to take it on Excel? So to do it, I just suggest you to do very s simple stuff doing like this. Just go like this and just right click and copy. And then just open a basic notepad. And then just save it. So I will just save it uh, somewhere on my desktop. Yeah, in this folder. So I will just save the stuff here. And then I've saved it. No, I didn't save it, so I will just write export. Okay, and I save it. And now I've saved it, so I can close it. And I will just show you with Excel, but for sure it's working with all the other uh, spreadsheets, such as LibreOffice or OpenOffice.org. And I just go to Open. Then I'm just going to the right folder, and this is very important here. I have to choose text, so the plain text here, and this is this one. So I click two times on it, and then uh, what can I do here? I will choose the first one here. I'm going to next, and here I will not choose tabulation. But I will just choose space. And here you see that everything will be formatted. And uh, after, do I have to do something else? Yeah, just going here and click on finish. And here you see that I've got all the exportation about, uh, about it. And now I can use it on Excel. Uh, or it's also working on the other uh, software, as I told you. So it may be very nice and very helpful. So it's just a small trick if you if you need to use it. Mm, after, we'll just see a last stuff. So here I showed you the stuff that you can only use with uh, the console and not the GUI application. So the get coding table is not working. Uh, you cannot do it straight with the GUI application, but some stuff you can do it on the on both, uh, on the GUI application and the console. And this is the case, for instance, with the package called, uh, the, I mean the function called. So let me go to RQDA. So this is called, uh, I think, export codings. Just let me check. Yeah, this one. So I will just try to do the stuff. I'll just try export codings like this and then press on OK. And actually it's very discreet, but I've got an, a window who open like this. And here I can choose everything and press on OK. And then I've got a exportation which has been done. So I just need to check it where but it should be somewhere on my computer, if I guess right. So just a second. Yeah, so actually I noticed that I made a mistake and this is quite interesting because as you can see, I've just written like exports codings like this. But actually I should have read the, the documentation before. And here, as you can see, I need to write a files with the path. So let's do it again. For instance, I will do it again. And I already wrote it, but I want to save it on this file. So I just write export coding. And like on the documentation, I do files equal and just put the path of the file. And just name it 
I'll just say test2.html and then just press OK. Again, the windows open. I let's choose everything here. And then if I'm going on my explorator, I see that here I've got the test number two. So I will just click two times to open. And as you can see, I really exported diverse Facebook and Twitter. So this may be quite nice uh, to use. Maybe sometimes it's nicer to use the GUI, but sometimes as you can see, such as the, the, the summary codings that we called resume. So this is very nice to, to use that function because uh, you cannot use it on the GUI application. So once again, I just invite you to discover how the, GUI, the documentation is working. Once again, just go to package, alt-qda, and just read the stuff. And by the way, if you go to the official website, you will also see some uh, documentation and PDF documentation if you prefer, but basically it's the same one. Um, well, I think I've told everything about it. So once again, be curious and do not hesitate to check all the functions of RQDA. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial.